Hello there, and welcome back to Silent Hill 3. When we left off, we were romping around a hospital, trying to find stuff. We found a submachine gun, if you can believe. <laughs> um, we did find a locked door also, and we've also not explored any more doors in the stairwell, which I think we need to do. Um, we've been trying loads of doors here and there, as you can see. I think the locked door was on the second floor, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so we're going to have to check that. Uh, and see if we can do anything there. I've also been using the pipe when I have a katana like an imbecile. <laughs> right, so we're gonna we're gonna use that if need be. There is something out here. It sounds slightly more menacing than stuff we've been fighting, though it could just be nurses for all I'm aware. It sounds it sounds different though. Right, so we're gonna go and try and sort that door out first. It's got a it's got like a riddle on the piece of paper next to it. Uh, which is full two. And then we're going to have to check out the rest of the doors on the stairwell. Maybe even the roof. Where James got pushed off way back when. Okay, yes, I forgot how ominously quiet this section is. We've checked these, I believe. Okay. So we have to put in some work here, I think. So let's read this again. The first is larger than the second. The second is twice the third. The third is smaller than the fourth. The fourth is half the first. Four of the numbers are not repeated, so none of them are the same. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. Okay. One of the numbers is the final key. Read it one more time. The first is larger than the second. Okay. The second is twice the third. Right. The third is smaller than the fourth. Okay. The fourth is half the first. Right, so if the first... The first is the largest number, right? Um, Potentially even on the keypad. But you can't half nine on a keypad, so it'd have to be like an eight, maybe? Which would make four a... Four, right? Right, okay. And then if third is smaller than the fourth... I want to say... To me it seems like it is... 8, 6... 3, 4... Um, judging by how that's gone, let's just try that. This is right. Uh, yes, yes. We got it. And immediately rewarded by monsters. Nice, nice. Okay. Oh my god, that's hurt my brain trying to do that one. Anything to do with numbers, man. Anything to do with numbers. There's a dead body right here. The man's corpse is laid out on the stretcher. The hand is sticking out of the sheet. There's has something written on it. In the hand, the hand, the, and the hand's the thing you noticed. There's a tattoo on his foot. Margaret, let's swear our love until death it was part. It's a weird thing to tattoo on your foot, I think. Your hand, however. So that's... I'll read that, probably. The start time is my key. Okay, that's a hint for another puzzle here. <laughs> So this 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 hospital is complicated. Um, there's a medical record here. Could this be for the dead guy? Possibly. Background unknown. Name slash age unknown. Not admitted patient. Found in poor mental state on hospital grounds, and temporarily installed in room M4 at chief's discretion. Died late tonight from blood loss due to severed carotid artery. Was grasping own kitchen knife in right hand. Assume this was a case. Uh, this was cause of the neck wound, or possible unaliving. But wound angle suspicious. Sent to second floor treatment room for further investigation. Have received no proof or corroboration of event from patient residing in the same room. 
have not notified police. However, future necessity leave victim's bed and effects intact room M4. Okay. And we can't read the other one either. Right, so M4, I guess. Uh, we've got some demonic creatures crawling my way. Okay, they are so rangy with that pole. Right. Uh. Whoa, she's got a gun! What the heck? Get out of it, you. Armed and dangerous. She had a gun! <laughs> That's the first. I bet you that bloody hurt as well. It did a little. That's the wrong section. Supplies, please. We'll use one of them. More mild blue. Mild blue's fine for me. Right, okay, let's check the doors here. Right, so M4 is the one he's in. Well, his effects are in, rather. Um, well, we may as well check the other ones, because who knows what's open and what's not here. We've still got room on floor one that has all of those nurses in that is mildly suspicious. M4. We are prepared for danger. Nothing. There is another creepy note, it looks like. Clock. Maybe this time thing he was talking about. Okay. Uh, turn off the alarm, oh. I guess. Why am I thinking four? So it would be six, wouldn't it? Um... And six would be eighteen. Oh, I'm so confused. So I, w I would say the hour hand was on six. So it'd be like six minutes past six, I would have said. In fact, it'd be seven minutes past six. I think. But I'm not getting it right for some reason. Ah, there we go. Jeez, that took way too long. Right, so the impression I was taking out of that then was the the um, the time, you know, with the tattoo on his arm saying where the time started, I was assuming that that rusty section was still there. And for some reason, I was thinking in 24 hours, so then I was like, 16 equals 4 o'clock, when it obviously doesn't, but yeah, whatever. No, no it does, but you know, you know what I mean. Anyway, we've opened the case. Instant camera. Who knows what the hell that's used for. Um... Uh, unlike normal camera, you can see this developed photos right away. Um, what do I potentially have to use that for that I've seen in the hospital? What is still a puzzle is my concern. Um, in the basement where we found the submachine gun, there was a bookcase pulled forwards that had blood coming from the side of it that we needed an item for, but I don't see how a camera would help me with that. Um... So I guess maybe we can check the stairs. I'm going to read that again because I've been talking too much while doing that. Okay. There was a tattooed guy on that rumpled bed. Not anymore, though. That alarm clock and filthy bag are his. Ah, but don't misunderstand. I haven't done a thing. I didn't hate him. Though he was a liar. Shall I write something of my own on my chest? Since I can't cut it open and show you my heart. I love Heather. No, something a bit more forceful. I love Heather. Isn't enough for what I feel. Oh, what tender emotion this image brings. Stanley Coleman. He's getting creepier every time. Right, okay, so we've got a camera. Um, don't genuinely know what to do with that. Uh, I still can't believe that nurse shot me with a gun. This is open. 
Another gaggle of nurses in there. Gaggling around. We can gaggle off, I'll tell you that right now. Right, okay. So stairwell it is, maybe. Um, this this hospital is confusing. Um, whatever was there wasn't there before. We are out now. Right, um... I don't know whether to test the bloody camera on that basement. Uh, it's the only thing that we found that is even remotely... I mean, we can take a picture of what's behind it. Maybe. But even if we do... Yeah. I'm still hearing someone walk upstairs while we're down. It's horrible. It's horrible, I tell you. See. Right, okay. There's a suspicious space between the shelf and the wall, but I can't squeeze into there, and there's no way I can move the shelf either. So, take a picture? It's letting me do it, but... It's confusing. Oh, another code. Right, okay. Let me just write that down. Uh, three... Eight... Five... Four. Who knows what that's for? We're getting codes and all sorts. <laughs> Fantastic. Right, okay. Okay, so maybe that's what it was used for. Um, is it still in the inventory? It does not appear to be. Right, okay. Yeah, that solves that problem. Okay, I tried this first rather than go every other floor. Right. Um, I think next maybe we'll try the rooftop? Or should we try third? I mean we can go top and then down. Well, I didn't like that very much, so... That was actually quite horrible, that noise. Oh, we've got another note. My best friend. I also like the rooftop. It makes me want to fly. You too? Stanley Coleman. God damn it, this guy is everywhere. And it's open as well. Oh, it's... Oh god, it's full of monsters. Oh god! Beat me beat! I just want the items from up here! Nothing else? I'm- I'm leaving. I know that they hit you and cause tremendous damage, so they can just sod right off. Was there anything else out there? God damn it. There was the other door, actually. Was that coded? That could be what it's for. The, the, position, the positions don't reset. Uh, we'll hold on to it for now. We know that that is potentially there. Right, okay. Third floor. This is the only other one we haven't checked out. Yeah, uh, there's a code. Right, okay, that might be the one. Oh, I don't like it in here. I might check the storeroom in that first, just in case we get a quick save point, that'd be nice. Okay. Oh my god, that was a uh, genius as well. Right, okay. There is stuff here. Stun gun battery. Uh, nothing but cleaning supplies in this locker. We didn't even open it to check, but I just assumed that that's what it was. Right, I'm going to chuck it a quick save, because I'm feeling weirdly kind of stressed out. Right, now I feel slightly less stressed out. <laughs> Because at least we've got a place to come back for it. From if uh, something destroys me. Okay, we can actually use the elevator here. I just realised I never even tried going to the third floor. Uh, just open, please. Okay, so it's just the stuff around the corner. It's locked, clearly. Right, so I believe that maybe... We've got two places to go here. We've got the special treatment room. 
Something happened with James in them as well, I'm pretty sure. And then we've got this potential coded area here. It's locked. And yeah, clearly we can put the code in. Is it this code though? Three, eight, eight five, four. It is. Right, okay. I don't want to go through there just yet. I want to check these out first. The hospital is actually pretty scary in this game. Lock. It's fine. Is that unlock then? This is open. Oh dear. Okay. Flowing freely, your ebony hair, like the night sky scattering fragrance, my heart clamoring in my chest like a storm, you trifle with it. Your persistent glance, like a feast, when you smile. My thoughts disturbed, my breath like opium. It drives me mad. Eric, a great poet who conveys my feelings so well. I shouldn't have let this place get to me. Should never have gone crazy. But it's superbly enjoyable to drown in my love for you. But why won't you accept proof of my love? Don't stand on ceremony now. After all, you and I exist as one. What I give to you is the same as what I give to me. Stanley Coleman. Stanley. Listen here, sunshine. Oh, shoot. Okay, we've just murdered a nurse in uh, a cell. Probably not the best. Poor lady. Poor lady, I'm sorry. Okay. What is this? There's a memo on the wall. Punishment for brutality towards patient. 12 hours of confinement in the special treatment room. Uh, dismissal policy no longer in effect. Contact the chief if you have any questions. There's something handwritten on top of the typewritten note sentence. The trick is to not leave any marks. And one other thing. This looks like it was written by a different person. The chief is a pervert. Uh, Christy would have been better off if she had been fired. Is that the nurse we just killed? That just is makes me feel incredibly guilty. Like, do we have to do the chief in next? That would be great. Okay. Don't like this. So heaven's broken, naturally. That's one. Uh, it's a magazine, just some kind of gossip magazine. Teaching despair. Hope House. Hope House is an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill, but behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, a charity organisation sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. But at its heart, it is a heathen organisation that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith, temp, who lives near Hope House, said, had this to say, uh, Sometimes at night I can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me out right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Hope House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower, which appears to be part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. Uh, it may in fact be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that operates Hope House is known by the locals simply as the Order. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers' fervent belief that they are among the elite, chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it, I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Schreiber. 
Poop House. Feels like I've heard of that name before. I have a really bad feeling that that's what this cult is all part of. Health drink. Health drink. Nice. I feel like this is the room that Maria stayed in, but I'm not sure. Lock is broken. Everything is bust. What is that? Oh, we got some beef jerky. The number one treat. Yeah, everything is bust here. This is open. Oh Christ, it's missing a leg this time. Uh-oh. Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love. It's all over. Leonard despises me because I made fun of it, saying it would come to this. If it weren't for his meddling, I would have been able to meet you in just a little while. Then I could have taken you to my world. A world for us alone. More beautiful than his one. Than this one. <laughs> and I had been waiting for this day. For today. The day I'd see you. The day you'd save me. Today. Heather. Watch out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell. I loved you. Heather, my goddess. Heather, my lover. Heather, my... And then he got torn to shreds by Leonard. I mean... He was incredibly cre creepy. Some of like these these people here. All right, get chopped. Well, she might all be innocent nurses, but you're attacking me. Oh crap! There's one with a gun behind me. But you don't move fast enough. You're getting beaten up by nurses. Get out of my sight! That was actually horrible. Oh. Deary me. We were mauled. Rather horrifically. Right, do you have a blue, blue kind of blue. A blue fade. Right, okay. At least we know out here is safe again. I didn't want to have to try and run past them every time, so that's fine. Right, okay. So what have we explored? What haven't we explored? All of these rooms. Um right, okay. I don't actually know where else to go apart from checking these doors out, so I'm gonna have to. Um, this one's open. The phone. No, this is a bad idea. trying to run from your responsibilities. Have you come to apologize? Or maybe you still don't realize how foolish you've been. The salvation of all mankind. Ah, what a ridiculous dream. Wait, just listen to me for a second. I've heard enough from you already. How did you turn out this way? Where did I go wrong? Listen to me already. I'm... Not Claudia. You're not Claudia. My name is Heather. Heather. Who are you? Leonard Wolf. I'm sorry. I thought you were my daughter. Claudia is your daughter? Oh, so you know her, do you? Are you one of her followers? No, never. When I find her, I I'm... I can feel the hatred. What? Behind your words, the anger. You plan to kill her, don't you? I'm 
sorry, but she, she killed my father. She's a fool, but she's still my daughter. I was going to forgive her if she changed her ways, but I see it's too late. Heather, will you help me? Help you? I'm locked up in here, and I must stop Claudia. Where are you now? I'm not sure myself, but the door is at the end of the hall on the second floor. I think I can be of help to you. I have a seal. Please. A seal? A seal. Okay. And it doesn't look like anything's changed. I was half expecting to be in um, the Hell Hospital, if I'm completely honest. That's a lot of machine. Well, saying that it fires really quickly, it probably isn't a lot. Right, the katana was the ultimate choice for the hospital, for sure. Right, okay, we get past these gun toting nurses that are destroyed or deceased. Alright, so second floor we've got to go down to. But I think I've got a bad feeling, so we're going to put another save in, I think. Be safe. Right, okay. Uh, you know what? No, we'll end the episode there, I think, because we're nearing in on time, I've just realised. <laughs> so, yeah, even though I'm curious to see what's on that second floor, I suppose it could be a little cliffhanger ending for us. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you've liked this one. If you have, like and subscribe. Click that bell icon if you want to be updated on future episodes as and when they come out. I'll see you next time. For now.